Hey it's Ed here, today we're taking a look at technical analysis for Bitcoin with Elliott Way Theory. If you want to educate yourself and support me, you can take a look at the Patreon, where you can find Elliott Way Basics course, access to weekly live streams and extra analysis on Discord. Let's get into the analysis next. Starting here on one hour time frame, nothing has really changed overall, but just to give you an update where we were, uh, we were either creating this structure as a five-way structure or a three-way structure. Now that we had this extend so much, uh, I think the expectation is that we have to allow this to be a five-way structure, although we had some issues definitely uh, with the labelings of this structure. Um, so this would be the overall thing that we would be looking for, five-way structure from the lows of November 21st, then three-way structure here, into the lows of B wave or wave two, and then fireways upwards. At the moment, we have extended right around the 1.618 extension for that wave C or wave three. But again, we have not confirmed that this whole thing is over yet. Uh, inside that structure, we would have this as a one two, where we have extended almost to the 5.618 extension, which is very, very extended. And now we'd be looking to create these threes and fours overall, if we are within that impulse wave structure or not. Um, however, on both of the scenarios, I'm looking for this to be creating a wave four and then that wave five. On the previous videos, we were talking about how this, uh, this current structure that we were on seemed to be uh, too large in comparison to this. So this is how I've currently labeled that this is indeed the top of subminuit three. We still had that divergence from the third of third against the fifth here that gives us the uh, um, scenario where the momentum is dying down and indeed it is dying down and we can see it here. Um, price is not really moving that much anymore in comparison to the previous structures. Obviously, we had loads more volume here, and this volume should be um, the largest that we are going to be seeing as well, in comparison to the rest of the structure, at least that's what I meant. Now, let's take a look at closer what we have here. So overall, the expectation was that we were looking for that wave 4. Uh, 23.6 is probably a good target for this. This would be taking out the lows of wave A here, and again it would be one of the primary targets for wave 4 anyways uh, because this wave 3 is so extended i'm not really seeing us uh, that likely to go to the most common retracement which is the 38.2 uh, the 0.5 is almost out of the question here but again not quite why is because again the substructure is inside that wave 4 here we have some kind of expanded structure we have taken out the highs of this origin uh, with the wave b or potential wave x um, so it is going to be some kind of extended or expanded structure. This can go all the way to the 2.618, which we would have all the way at 18.4k. However, that would be very, very unlikely. If Even if it goes well uh, beyond the 1.618, we need to be starting to doubt this count, uh, but we definitely need to be looking into the substructures that we might be getting here. Let's zoom in a bit closer to see what we have here. Overall, I've labeled this as a three-way structure into A, then W, X, Y into B. Um, I think this looks decent. We have somewhat of a comparable structures overall. It's not the best, but this is the best I can get. Other scenario would be creating some kind of structure in here. However, I do like this being a five-way structure. We would have that divergence in here. So this, in my opinion, fits pretty decently. Um, and then again, a three-way structure of some sort here into that way Y. Uh, after creating this way B, we'd be looking for a five-way structure for that way C. And the ex expectation would be the one-to-one to, -one to the 1.618. Well, basically the 1.382 is basically the ta target, but it definitely can expand here and further out, but 20,355 to 19.884. So that's the main target area. Um, however, how we're going to be labeling this structure in here is not really that easy. There is again a chance that this structure into these lows that we had uh, is a wave one, and then this whole mess is going to be some kind of wave two. Uh, there is also a chance that this is going to be forming some kind of triangle, although RSI is not completely agreeing with that because again, this is the low here on RSI, 
and generally we want to be having it completely completely um, completely going with the price but that is not always what happens so even if we are going to be creating another leg like this creating a three-way structure we we can still form that into a c-wave how is well we're going to be creating that into a diagonal uh, that is the only way so we would be creating a series of threes coming down into here creating some kind of diagonal downwards and that is the only way this can go into a c wave or motive wave the other other way around instead of creating that third way we would have this as some kind of one two one two setup and then we ne would need to be starting to move down more more fast uh, because again the third of third generally is is the most or is the, is the wave structure that has the most mo momentum behind it generally uh, unless the fifth of course extends but that is not the assumption um, so that would be my bias if you are taking out these highs here then this count is completely off and instead we would be looking for something else um, at the moment this can extend all the way to the 22,373 until this whole thing of this being an A and looking for B idea is invalidated. Uh, if you go beyond here, then that is not the case. And instead, we would most likely have this as some kind of a diagonal here, where uh, this probably would be a one, two, three, four, and five. It is not the best looking structure uh, overall, but I think that is still something that we would be considering. But I think that would be considered only if we break these highs so if we break 1.618 consider diag and this is again only um, if we don't go down first so that is the scenario that would be the more bullish version um, at that point again we should not be taking out these lows over here is 20,258 this would be the invalidation of that idea so let's just pop, pop this down here and overall this would be the wave one two three four and five not the best looking structure but there it is um, it's it's a possibility we can't just deny that um, this would also fit the idea where we would have a triangle in here and we would have some kind of three-way structure coming down and again generally these diagonals don't really have a large pullback so we could be looking for long setups already in here this would be to counter um, counter the shorts that we have from up in here again I did not get the shorts up in here uh, I think I was around here actually when I took the shorts I was looking for a pullback I still uh, short against these highs but um, not the perfect entry for sure on this one but yeah, I think those are the two scenarios that I'm watching at the moment. Um, if you made it this far again into the video, I would appreciate the likes linked to my free Discord server in the description below. And for now, I thank you for watching and hope to see you on the next video. Bye bye.